and welcome to the Fleet Geeks podcast. We're here to help develop fleet and transport professionals. Do you want to progress and develop your skills and knowledge? We promise to bring lively conversation and debate around interesting issues and keep you bang up to date with changes in our awesome industry. The Fleet Geeks are a community of professionals and if you enjoy the podcast, why not join the discussion for free in the Fleet Geek community over on Facebook? There we go, travel board. Uh, and, and, and what sets you off? What sets you off is it says like 13 seconds. I don't know if you sat there looking like a melon for 13 seconds, but it comes yeah, on no, saying like you've already it done it. On. Well, we're here, yes. Live, lunchtime live with Pete and Mike, Fleet Geeks. And uh, this afternoon, um, uh, Pete, I believe we've got the uh, the pleasure of um, uh, of talking to you about something very exciting that's happening in the uh, in the world of uh, flagship partners. So, uh, do you want to do you want to give us a, a bit of an opening gambit on that and tell us what uh, what yeah. exciting news we've got this week? Yeah, absolutely, mate. And uh, look at me, like dressed like I'm for dressed for court, mate. <laughs> at the minute, I, I did I did mention that. I saw Pete earlier on a on a on a meeting on our, our catch up, and I said, uh, "Is Pete? Is he got to go to court today? Is he?" Um. Smart casual, I'd say, is probably uniformed up. Normally, is the uh, is is the is the is the, is yeah, the tire yeah, that you would wear, isn't it? But absolutely, uh, and I realise that actually the sun's shining right off my head today as well, which is a, a bit frustrating. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, those that sort of follow follow our channels will have seen yesterday that we did a bit of a launch of the flagship fleet software, uh, which is a, a bit exciting for us. Actually, it's something we've been working on for the last uh, month or so, couple of months. And, and really, it's the culmination of a, a lot of years worth of work, really, in that um, we've worked with a range of uh, a range of software that we tend to work with companies and then work with the software they have. Yeah. And we will we will continue. We will continue to do that, of course. So if people have got a preference for TrueTac or RHA or Taco Master or whatever it may be, we we obviously can work with that as well. But one of the things, one of the challenges we've had, it looks like I'm sat in the dark here, doesn't it? Um, and uh, it, it looks dark on my screen anyway. Um, yeah, is it, it looks like the sun's gone in a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah no, that's fine. I'm sure it'll come back out in a moment. Um, but anyway, they um, we, we work with a, a lot of operators who have a lot of array. There we go. Come back again all yeah, of a sudden. Just, just that, almost it? as if you commanded it, yeah. Yeah, let there be light. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we, we work with uh, operators with a range of different software. And there are a lot of good softwares out there as well, to be fair. There are a lot of good ones. Um, there are certain systems I really like, and there's some that are absolute garbage. Um, but we've partnered up with Convey. It is the best fleet software on 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 the you know out there at the moment I, I feel really comfortable and confident with it um and it does it does a range of really cool stuff uh which i think helps people to be compliant and now we're doing more and recognition work for operators as well it it has it has like the full suite of solutions shall we say so um without with, at risk of just going on on a monologue but i think one of the things i really like about it and people will be sat there listening yeah but so what you know all the systems do taco analysis and, and they do absolutely mm, yeah. but i think what 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 really sold it to me was um the, the essentially you've got one place for a range of stuff and particularly mm. i think what people find most painful is one of the hardest jobs with running and managing a fleet is managing drivers. Um, the asset management, I, in my opinion, tends to be a bit more straightforward and easy. Um, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, they're, 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 they're actually, objects that, yeah, they're, they're, they're objects that haven't got, to, you know, they're they're inanimate objects was the word I was looking for. Absolutely, Fair. yeah. And the drive, the driver management is a can be a bit more challenging. So, yeah. Um, and, and and what the what the software does is it's a single app. It's one place where uh, drivers have the one app and they can see their, their driving hours. They can do their daily checks on it automatically when you upload uh, their taco taco analysis. It will it will show them the infringements. It will show them what hours they've got. Um, and, um, and, and additionally, it also stores things like the driver handbook. Uh, you can send memos on it. You can get real time signatures. Mm. Uh, you can, you've got a lot, you know, there's, there's a lot of data being collected and there's a lot of information on there. And one of the things I really like most about it is, uh, you can also like do all your fleet management. You can, you can 
bespoke the driver daily checks, which I think is really important. Um, and also you can manage training matrices as well, which is really important yeah. for us as flagship as well. So, you know, you've already got that list of drivers there. So, and you've already got the list of vehicles. There's, so you can do the fleet management and you can also do the driver management. You can manage, you know, forward plan training. Uh, you can record non-related training in there too. You know, it's it's literally, you know, essentially the whole shooting. One size chart. fits all, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely correct. I and mean, as, as a transport manager or former transport manager, I, um, it, you know, it's frustrating because, you know, as, as, as time goes on, you, as a business, you build up, uh, different bits of software you you know new technology comes in and you buy a new piece of software to do this and a new piece of software to do that and it's quite frustrating because you you're then it becomes a question of the the tail wagging the dog um and you've got to work your your sort of uh, life revolves around trying to work with the systems rather than i think the smart bit is to get the systems work to, to work for you so what what is it to, in particular about convey and, and like yourself i've seen many systems and i've never mastered one of them particularly um so what what makes it what makes you think that uh, convey then will you know is it, for me being an old uh, you know you know no elder abuse here but being of an older generation for me it's the ease of use so do you think convey has got that um, that magic where somebody um as technically inept as myself to come along and, and quite make sense out of it reasonably quickly. And, so, and, and I think there, there, there is the rub, right? So generally speaking, I think a lot of operators will have a one, a lot of operators out there. And I think, the, and when I say a lot, I think the majority, they will have a TACO analysis system. One, mm, yeah. they will have two, a driver check process, whether that be on paper still, or whether it's an app, but generally speaking, the two, in, in a lot of cases, in my experience, the two won't be the same system. And then thirdly, they'll have a tracker system. Fourthly, they'll have potentially a spreadsheet to manage driver maintenance. And then they'll also have a way of storing the, the maintenance documentation as well. And essentially, this is now one system that can do all of it all in, one, all in one place. Yeah. And what the beauty of that is, is you only have to learn one system. Because once you learn that system, <laughs> yeah, and it's not it's not it's not really just the, the transport manager. Um, it's it's staff, isn't it? It's people in the office. It's the support staff. Uh, and again, I know how frustrating that is from a, as a transport manager that you you get somebody new in the office and you spend like forever training them up on on these various yeah. systems that you've and got kicking around. If I know if I know anything, I know that it, it's very painful training people to use software. It's very tra- it's very difficult, very painful, um, and uh, it, it's you know it, it can be really challenging. So there's there's a lot of efficiencies gained through using one system for for the whole for the whole system, and it helps if people want to go for end recognition in the future and and those kinds of things. It uh, there, there, there's obviously a lot of benefit there. So um, and and I think I think the real big thing to think about is that you. We now can offer this software that does everything, mm. um, that, that has it all in, in, in one place. But the other thing is, is that I know there'll be a reluctance from people to go, that sounds a bit painful having to train everyone to use a new system. Uh, there's a lot of work involved in rolling out a new system. I'll probably just stick with what I've got. Yeah, and and it's kind of that old correct. it's yeah. kind of that old adage of like yeah. I'm too I'm too busy refitting square wheels to this uh, <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you know to this to this trailer. Uh, I'm too busy fitting square wheels to this trailer to think about fitting a round one. Why would I fit a round one to this trailer? Yeah, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm far too I'm far too busy doing this. So um, and you know, in reality, it, it's really simple and straightforward to implement. Flagship can do it really, really quickly. Um, and, and the beauty, I think, with a lot of the software tools out there is actually if it doesn't work for you, there, there's no long contracts or anything like that. It is literally just on a on a ah, hand okay. hand. It's, it's very so much it's on, on a, a hand hand basis. So almost it's risk like as free, as you largely go, risk free. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah, largely risk free. I know, I know some of the really big national operators will probably have uh, uh, long term, longer term contracts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Convey, is it, is it um, you know, what, what kind of uh, setup is it? Is it backed up with, uh, are they constantly on the on the lookout for, for new products? And, uh, you know, what, what, uh, what's the sort of back, background to, to Convey? 
Hi, it's Pete from Flagship Partners. We're really proud to sponsor the Fleet Geeks podcast. Flagship Partners offer a range of consultancy and training services to ensure that our customers remain compliant and have the best possible knowledge to be able to fulfil their work. If you're interested in support with any of our safety, HR or compliance services, or you want to train to be a transport manager or need driver CPC training, give us a call today. Yeah, got you. So, um, yeah, I think um, the the beauty of us choosing to work with this software is that there's continual development. So, uh, as as stuff comes up, I think they've just launched um, the like workshop module. So that means that it's now you know you can do the full inspection on that software as well. Um, so everything everything is there for you to be able to uh, to manage that. So it is um, and and constantly being developed and listened to yeah. as well. It's it, I think one of the bugbears I often have is that I'll speak to um software solutions and give feedback and often um people are, are a bit unwilling to listen um yeah. you know it's yeah. i get that it's their baby i'm not a software specialist that's not necessarily my bag um but yeah i think it's uh, it's really exciting to be able to offer uh, to be able to offer that and be able to um you know support support our our clients with with the, with a transition as well yeah. and, and just making yeah. sure that everything's everything's correct because you're able to keep a um, an overview of, of mm. how things are going at all times. You don't necessarily need to be in the premises because you're able to access it. Well, remotely. it's remote now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think, so I think we, like, like I said before, the big the big selling point is that it's one app for the drivers. One app, one, yeah. one app for them to get used to, and everything yeah. everything can yeah. be on their hand. But you know, essentially, they then become paperless because you've got you know, Taco. You've got uh, your drivers' checks. And you've got your handbook and everything like that, all sort of in one place. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, uh, somebody, it's very good. I, I've been dragged kicking and screaming since the twenty first century, and you know, as time has gone on, I've realised, good, you know, when you look at it, you think, how on earth did we manage before when everything was paper? And it, it, it does become so much easier, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh, in, in t- you know, from, from in terms of the flagship element of this, um, you know, if again going back to the uh, to the, the days when I was a transport manager. Um, you know, if somebody had come, walked in and said, look, you know, we, we appreciate that this is, you know, a bit of an upheaval for you. We're having new software, et cetera. But, you know, the one thing I noticed with lots and lots of software providers is like the sales pitch was really good. And uh, you bought the product and then basically they, you know, that, that was it. They You bought it and they walked away. And so I think we, we I think because of our sort of passion and our ethos and our values i don't think that's going to happen with us is it Pete? i don't think you'd let that happen would you no no absolutely and i think i think i think that's also the reassuring part i think there's two two bits of reassurance i want to offer one is that if you want to work with flagship partners and want to use your own software we're not going to force feed you the <laughs> software you you know you, you can use whatever you like um and and we'll still support that you know we're not we're not going to only offer our own software we are going to be able to support every you know whatever an operator is choosing to use we're able to support them no problem yeah, absolutely. but uh, the other reassurance is that actually when people buy when people buy software when they buy daily checks when they buy taco analysis software when they buy you know uh, trackers those kinds of things they're not they're not actually buying the software they're buying the solution that it provides mm, they're, yeah, they're yeah, buying yeah. they're buying the reassurance and the lack of headache and and and, yeah, and, and all of that thing that that, that having that provides them and and I think that gone are the days of a software salesperson going, you know, I, I can promise you this and I can offer you that. And, you know, everything's going to be just fine. Just come along with me, take the sale and off you go. Um, the beauty the beauty of this is that actually we need to keep you happy because it's an ongoing agreement. If, yeah. um, you know, if you're not happy, you're just going to swap to somebody else. But at the same time, it's all in the implementation and it's in the support around it, which is why, I'm happy to be able to offer our, our solution because you could go directly to um, uh, one of the software providers, or you could come through us. The, the the cost is the same, but actually with us, you'll get that that get sort of support. personal support. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll have you'll have someone support the account and someone to look after you as well. So um, I think that's uh, I think that's really really good as well. So yeah, we're really excited about that, mate. Really excited. Yeah, I think good. It, it sounds it sounds like it sounds like a very exciting. Uh, uh, another development in the in the flagship um, world, and uh, yeah, it's uh, when I saw it, I you know I've got no particular axe to grind. People quite often ask me, you know, what's the best software, and I said, well, you know, 
Um, it depends on what you want to do with it, et cetera, et cetera. But actually, you do get a lot of feedback. Um, you know, a lot of people do mention Convey and how how uh, how good it is and how they get on well with it. So, um, you know, and that's not, um, you know, that's just incidental stuff you pick up along the way. And, I, you know, I noticed that uh, certainly. So I, my ears pricked up when you told me the the news that we were going to uh, partner partner up with them. And, and I thought, well, that's, you know, that's a really good, good move way forward. But yeah, you're right. We, we have got some, I'm kind of, um, you know, I'm as a trainer, I've been in the training game now for six has been my seventh year now. So, you know, I've come away from the sort of transport management side of things. But um, I know that we've got the strength in depth with the other guys uh, we've got in the business that are experts in other software packages. So we rely, I rely personally heavily on them to to put me right. So, yeah, as you say, well, yeah, we absolutely. continue to support anybody with any software. Yeah, but absolutely. It, it's absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and I think from a longer term point of view, we're also looking to bolster that service as well, because mm. um, we are, as we speak, developing um, additional additional software with um, with some of our um, contacts where we're going to start to be able to look at a more, much more holistic approach. So at the moment, this is very uh, niche fleet oriented, but actually we'll be able to provide um more remote auditing and yeah. uh, you know remote access for things like the safety side of the business that we're offering so things like risk assessments and access to documentation and storage of documentation and that kind of thing because i think the future is going to be very digital so oh, our, yeah. our, our intention is to really help to digit digitalize um, our customers as we go and just sort of offer that level of support so you know if people are getting a bit fed up of bits of paper lying around definitely just give us a shout and we'll have a look and see how we can how, how we can sort of move move yeah. that forward mike you know um, I, I do I, I sometimes reflect on what the transport office looked like you know 20 years ago uh compared with what it looks like today and it's a it's a completely different uh different beast uh you only got to think about tachographs and the old analog tachographs kicking around and the thing is is we live in a busy and this is the beauty of it right is that we live in a really busy world right now there's lots of information all the time mm. flying around there's lots of people you know wanting our attention my phone my, i've already had two missed calls just by mm. being on this call now uh and no doubt loads of emails this morning i was in a meeting and i came back and i had 30 40 emails <laughs> so all of the time we've got yeah. Like pressing pressing for our attention and vying for our attention and the issue you've got with paper is that a piece of paper is just that it's a piece of paper, it's just a piece of paper uh, yeah. and there's no there's no prioritization there's no nothing screaming at you yelling at you that it needs to be resolved or looked at or dealt with um whereas the beauty of like having having a software system is that you log in and, and it kind of does the thinking for you because it's there in bright red um act now this is yeah. what needs to happen <laughs> yeah, you know what needs to happen. To, yeah, yeah yeah it's come come yeah. with me we need to take this action now this defect yeah. is important and we need to sort it out yeah. um and i think it just it helps with that visibility of, of issues essentially that you know that there's there's a lot of stuff you know a scrap of paper can get put in the bin by accident and it's totally forgotten well, <laughs> essentially see, catastrophically yeah, yeah. I, I do remember the days well where we had to be very careful in the transport office when we had the windows open uh, that we could have the windows open and you could lose like like stuff that was really important, you know, just because you had yeah. the windows open and bits of paper were blowing around everywhere. Yeah. But, well, just, no. just just imagine, and I'll, pa I'll paint the picture just to sort of finish this bit off, um, just certainly from a maintenance uh, point of view, is that there's a lot of operators out there who still will have workshops that do paper, that paper yeah. service inspection sheets. Take that as a really good example. You've got you know, you're in a big office, the window's open, There's it's a bit blowy or whatever. Yeah. You, you only have a wall planner because you don't have a digital system for, yeah. for, for doing stuff. You've marked off the services completed on your on your wall planner. And there's your service sheet, paper one, the original copy. No one's got a copy of it. And it gets blown away and ends it's up gone. at someone else's desk and in the bin. And next thing you know, you've got DVSA knocking on the door. You've got no evidence that this inspection's taken place. Yeah, well, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Done it, paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, pay, paid for it. Yeah. Had the downtime on yeah. it. Had all the pain yeah. of doing it. And potentially even paid for rectification work and, and everything else. But actually, there's no, you know... the. The, the evidence that has been yeah. done is well is, is not, we, we is do hear that in so. compliance in, in the compliance world we hear that quite a lot don't we if, if you can't prove it it didn't happen 
exactly that. Exactly that. And the, the, yeah. the fact that there's been a payment and an invoice, it doesn't prove anything material, without the support yeah. and documentation. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's probably a good point to, to sort of cut it off there, Mike. What what are you up to at the moment, anyway, mate? What are you uh, what are you? I'm, up to uh, yeah, so uh, I'm in between. Uh, I'm in between delivering two OLAP courses to uh, to the same company on two two different days. So they they had a kind of day off from me. I think that's sensible. So I'm I'm uh, developing some more stuff in the background. Um, we're very excited. We're we're uh, we're developing an online offering for our transport manager uh, courses. Which um, temptation would be to to offer a fairly straightforward online uh, course, but we we want to do something slightly different, something slightly better. Um, so we're currently currently working on that, uh, and I'm also looking at the um, the driver CPC offering that we we've got. We've we've had some exciting new courses come online, not online on stream and um yeah, i'm just looking at uh, to, to seeing if we can expand that any anymore and just tidy up the ones that we've got so yeah back at it tomorrow um looking forward to it great company uh one of our customers great company uh, lovely people and uh you know they really do lap up the the, the training it they do feel Fantastic. you know some some value there yeah, fantastic, mate. Yeah, so uh, the reason I look like I'm dressed for court is I went business networking this morning for the first time in months because Shani's off de- delivering a first aid course. Normally, I get to send uh, her. Wednesday, of course. And, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I've been uh, been doing that, and then uh, yeah, I went off to a body uh, body repair company for a bit of a meeting this morning as well, which was uh, very nice. Actually, about podcasting, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Um, and and sort of paying it forward a little bit with uh, helping helping someone with launching a podcast. So, uh, yeah, all all very, very exciting stuff. And, uh, yeah, um, thank you for listening, people. Please do check out the Fleet Geeks Geeks podcast if you're watching this live. Obviously, this will end up on the podcast at some point in the near future. Um, But if you're watching this, please do uh, listen to the podcast, Fleet Geeks, or listen to my podcast, A Half Dozen Things. Make sure you subscribe to them and uh, even leave us a review. We really appreciate it. Yeah, you know, more and more I consume of this kind of um, media, uh, YouTube and what have you, that, that like... Was it like, subscribe, and comment is really, really important because yeah, it's, it's something algorithms. I don't know who knows what that means, but apparently it's nice. really important. So, folks, thumbs up, <laughs> like, <laughs> subscribe, and comment. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, Mike. Anyway, good catch up, Mike. I'll catch you in a See bit. See you later. Thank you for listening, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please share with your friends and colleagues too. Join us for free on Facebook with the Fleet Geeks community for transport and fleet managers. Fleet Geeks offers ongoing professional development, networking and mentoring too. So get in touch with me, Pete Rushmer, on any social media platform to find out more.